it was that was a study of the mother-child relationship that did use psychoanalytic theory, Lacan in particular, to kind of interrogate those moments of separation and loss that occur in that relationship. I hear voices, you know, I'm kind of kind of making something with that voice and trying to materialize it, make the affect of voice pass into the visual field. So it's almost like, you know, you're looking as a form of listening. Uh, this was at the beginning of the 80s and about 10 years into the European women's movement and we were very conscious of the question of images of women but we were also not so naive to think you could just make positive images. Some of us uh, who were reading Althusser, we saw his footnotes to, to Lacan and we thought okay the men have their Marxism right but how are we going to make them think it's important to deal with sexuality and we thought we're going to go find out what this is. Walter Benjamin said, you know, obsolete things <laughs> can be brought back and they can have some redemptive quality at a certain moment. Mm -hmm. I mean, you wouldn't say that in the 80s, but, but now when we're in a culture that's really digitally mm -hmm. <laughs> overdetermined and connected in terms of the internet, then something that's uh, so archaic as a museum, an exhibition, a confrontation with objects, it can be interesting in a new in a new way.